What's up, guys? Welcome back. Uh, see my new hat? I was in St. Louis last week for the AMA Supercross races at the indoor stadium there. Yeah, that was awesome. Today, uh, we're going to talk about Callisto Protocol on the Steam Deck. Uh, viewer request video, actually. Somebody said, hey, I want to see a video on the Callisto Protocol. And I said, well, let me make one. So, uh, yeah. Let's uh, get right into it. So yeah, um, if you missed this morning's live stream on Twitch, the son of Harold over at Twitch, uh, it was a great time. You missed it. Sorry about that. I did notice a couple subscribers from here came over that way and saw that they followed me, so I do appreciate that. Um, again, we're just having fun and uh, doing some doing some video game things. Okay, we can't. This, this isn't what we're doing. Go on. Get down. Rip. Get down. So, yeah. Center of attention here. Go on. Go lay down. Jump in your spot. Come on. Get up here. Good girl. So, yeah. If you guys could do me a huge favor... Do us a favor, uh, click the subscribe button. Costs you nothing. Uh, you can ring the bell if you want. If uh, you're super into these things, then you get notified uh, whenever I drop a video. But uh, yeah, just click that subscribe button and yeah, it'll really help the channel out. Okay, I, I appreciate all of this. I don't know why we're doing it. So anyway, dog problems. Uh, Callisto Protocol, uh, it's not without issues, okay, on the Steam Deck. Um, I'm not going to spoil anything, but I, I personally, I liked the game. It was fun to play. The story was okay. Combat got a little repetitive at times, but, uh, I think a lot of people had issues with how the game ended. Again, I'm not going to spoil it. I didn't mind the ending. I didn't, I didn't think it was that terrible. But that being said, you do have to tinker with some things to get a decent playing experience on the Steam Deck. This is the limited edition Steam Deck OLED. Um, I've said that a, a billion times. But when you get into the settings, you have to... They, hmm, how do I want to word this? There is a specific Steam Deck preset for this game. So I do use that, and then I believe it's locked at 30 frames, and then everything's at medium settings. But then when you're in the graphical settings menu, or the graphic setting, I believe it is, display or graphics, anyway... When you're in those settings, there is a test performance button that you can click on. And it runs you through this cutscene as though you were playing the game. And it's awful. Every time you run through that, no matter what settings you do, you get jitters and stutters and frame drops. I've seen single digit frames running through this performance test video that they've built into the game it is not the experience that you'll get when you're playing so if you're trying to tweak it and then run that performance thing and get great results you're not going to and then when you get to the end of that thing it kind of pops up and tells you what your average frames were through the entire scene i don't remember how long that runs but whatever Try to ignore that thing. It's it's kind of crap. Uh, the big issue for me is... 
I don't know who to blame. I don't know if it's the developers of Callisto Protocol. I don't know if it's Valve and Steam or what the deal is, but there's this... The Steam Deck is portable, right? I'm supposed to be able to take this thing and play my games wherever I want. And Callisto Protocol is a single player experience. There isn't, there's no multiplayer function at all to that game as far as I know. It's a it's a 100% single player experience. So when I'm out at my favorite spot, which is this park and this overlook, and I wanna play my Steam Deck outside because I've got the one terabyte OLED with the anti-glare screen and the sun doesn't have that big of an impact, whatever. Anyway, if I'm sitting on a hilltop and I'm playing my Steam Deck, it's comical, really, but uh, there's a thing that Callisto Protocol has to do at the beginning, and it's called checking entitlements. And if you are not connected to the internet, it'll never check the entitlements and launch the game. It will not do it. So I'm in St. Louis, I'm in a hotel room, I didn't pay for Wi-Fi in the hotel room because all I did was sleep there. Uh, but if I pulled my Steam Deck out and wanted to play Callisto Protocol in the hotel room at night before bed or something, it would check entitlements forever and I wouldn't get to play. You have to be connected to the internet for Callisto Protocol to work. Once, once it's checked entitlements, I think you're good to go. Once you're in the game, you don't need Wi-Fi, but you need Wi-Fi to launch the game. That's a problem with a portable frickin' console. I don't, I'm not always, I'm not always connected to the internet. Especially when I'm sitting on the top of a hill, overlooking a bunch of trees, playing my Steam Deck. So, I don't know, I don't know who's at fault there, but it's, it's a real problem. So know that, if you haven't, if you haven't experienced that, you're, you're gonna need some interwebs. Um... Otherwise, I think the game looks great. Uh, I can roll some B-roll footage of, like, the beginning. Uh, I am in New Game Plus now. Like I said, I have beaten the game. I know what the ending is. Then I start New Game Plus. And it's kind of cool. You get to keep all the hop-ups and stuff you've done. So as you progress through your second time, as you collect your weapons and your things, as you're progressing, all the add-ons and attachments and things that you've acquired for your weapons, I guess. I don't know how else to word it. Uh, those are all still there. So that's pretty cool. The uh, menu, menu, menu and build-out system for the weapons and stuff in the game is pretty cool. I don't mind that at all. And overall, it's a good experience. You just need to be on the internet. At least at the beginning. I don't know how that works for going out into the world. It, it doesn't, I guess, really. But, uh, yeah, it's... I liked the game. Callisto Protocol was a fun game. I played it, I beat it, I liked it. I don't know if it's a great game for this. Just because... It defeats this thing's purpose. I want to be able to play games anywhere that I'm at, whether I'm connected to Wi-Fi or not. I get if it's a multiplayer game that I'm not going to be able to play it out in the world somewhere unless I'm connected to Wi-Fi. But a single-player campaign, a story-mode single-player game should work anywhere. I don't even know what checking entitlements means. Are you trying to prove that I own it? Or are you trying to prove that I have the right to play it? What, what does that even mean? I don't know. Anyway, that's my rant on Callisto Protocol. I liked it. Subscribe to the channel, please. That'd be cool. Check out the live streams you missed this morning's. I will live stream again tomorrow. Uh, it'll be a morning coffee. Resident Evil 4, it's a good time.
come visit, hang out. Thanks for watching.